It was an Easter unlike any other this year, as COVID-19 restrictions kept most people close to their homes. But checkpoints like these will remain a familiar sight at least for the next three weeks, as Gardaí continue to check that only essential journeys are being made. But it seems most people have been adhering to the rules. There was a very high level of compliance with the public health guidelines over the Easter weekend. On Garda Siakala, I want to thank the public for that. We now need people to continue that high level of compliance over the coming weeks. The latest figures show people are still contracting and dying from the virus. 31 more people died in a 24-hour period, bringing the total in Ireland to 365. And 992 new cases were confirmed when results from a German lab were included. It also emerged that 100 people whose samples were tested in Germany were wrongly told on Saturday that their results were negative for COVID-19. The HSE has said the mistake is being investigated. This issue is one of several which will be considered by the National Public Health Emergency Team, which meets again today to review our COVID-19 preparations. The team will also review the restrictions that are currently in place, although last night the Chief Medical Officer indicated that even when these are eventually eased, there will be no going back to normal life for a while. The arrangements that are going to have to be in place until we can get to a point where we have sufficient immunity in the population. And the only way we can see that happening at this point is the availability of a vaccine. And that's not something which we see happening in the near term. Once we identify an effective vaccine or a number of inf- effective vaccines, the, the manufacturing of those and the distribution of those, all of that, it's, it's going to take time. It is going to take time. And for, for that period of time, we are going to be dealing with restrictions. It's emerged in the past hour that Sinn Féin leader Mary Lou Macdonald has tested positive for COVID-19 and had to wait over two weeks for her results. The National Public Health Emergency Team is expected to give an update later today on testing rates. Health officials have given an undertaking that a backlog of 11,000 tests will be cleared by the end of this week. But a target of 15,000 tests a day has yet to be reached. Geraldine Nina, Virgin Media News. So let's get more on that confirmation of a positive test for the Sinn Féin leader. Our correspondent Paul Coggan is at Government Buildings Force this lunchtime. And Mary Lou MacDonald has issued a statement in the last half hour or so, Paul. Yes, Colette. She had been self-isolating for a number of weeks, so people presumed that she was waiting on test results, and she confirmed half an hour ago that having been tested on March 28th, over two weeks ago, she received confirmation yesterday that that test for COVID-19 had come back positive. Now, she says she has not, she is now clear of the virus, she's not infectious, but she had encountered some complications over the weekend uh, as a result of COVID-19. She says she developed a post-viral pleurisy in her right lung, but she says she She's been receiving medication for this and is responding well. She says her thoughts and solidarity are with everybody who is sick right now and also the doctors and nurses and carers who are attending to those people. Her appeal is to stay home and to stay safe. And Paul, separately, what do we know about this framework document for a new government between Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael? So we understand a framework document has been put together that has reached agreement, broad agreement, between Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael and it will be presented to the party leaders sometime soon for sign-off. So the way is now paved for a so-called grand coalition between Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. Both parties will be keen to get one of the smaller parties on board because they're eight seats short of an overall majority. They're looking to the Social Democrats, the Greens and Labour. Sinn Féin are excluded, of course. Now, any new government that does emerge will emerge blinking into the new world of COVID-19 where very little is certain and very little is controllable. The IMF are due to formally publish their global outlook in relation to COVID-19 in terms of unemployment numbers, in terms of the hit to economic growth that will come out in over just under an hour's time. It makes for very grisly reading. Okay, Paul, thank you very much.